You've probably already seen Joanne's email saying discover Glowforge. It says no matter your skill level, Glowforge brings your designs to life. And let me tell you, I do have a Glowforge. I was one of the original Kickstarter backers when Glowforge was first on Kickstart. And I've had my Glowforge for over five years now. And I can tell you it's an absolutely phenomenal machine. Today I'm going to show you how simple it is to design something on the Glowforge interface itself. I am going to create an ornament and I'll take you through the whole process so you can see how simple it is. You can purchase a Glowforge through the Joann's website or you can go to glowforge.com using the link that I provide below. Depending on which Glowforge you buy, you will get a substantial discount. It will give you a discount and it will also give me a discount at no added cost to you. You'd actually be paying a lot less for your Glowforge. And if you intend on buying a Glowforge, that is the best way to buy it with a discount from someone who already owns the Glowforge because it's a win-win situation for both of us. Right now, I'm gonna get started on the Glowforge interface and I'm gonna put you to the screen so you can see what I'm doing. The way you get on the Glowforge interface is app.glowforge.com. So this is what the Glowforge interface looks like. It's absolutely beautiful and very intuitive. However, they're always working on improving it, which is absolutely amazing. So in order to create a new design, you just click here on create and we're going to create blank design. It always remembers the last thing you engraved, which is totally fine. We are going to click here, this big plus that says import artwork. You can search all the graphics that they have. This is absolutely amazing. So we're gonna search for an ornament. And they have a ton, a ton of ornaments. They have just, a multitude, a plethora of designs to choose from. And all of these designs, you do pay a subscription for this service. However, they are free to use, free to sell right after you pay the subscription. So I'm going to go back to the one that I started and I'm just going to click the image. Now I want to create an outline of this. So I am going to create new outlines. And although you can't really see it on the screen, it is perfectly outlined. And then I'm going to select both of these and I want them to be at least four inches tall. So I'll click four and that is perfect. And then I'm going to go to the insert text and I'm gonna insert someone's name. They also have a lot of text fonts to choose from. It's endless everything here is absolutely phenomenal so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a little hole here so it, that it can hang properly i'm going to go to insert shapes and then insert circle and i want to unlock the aspect ratios and then i can maneuver this however i want and i want it to go here all right, so that is what it's currently gonna look like. I am going to turn on the Glowforge, put in my wood, and start the magic. The Glowforge is turned on through a button in the back. And it turns on. And then since you're engraving and or cutting materials, you're gonna need to vent it somewhere. You either have to have a filter or a venting hose. I have both the filter and the venting hose. Now all that I have to do is put a piece of wood in the Glowforge, select the wood from the materials selection, and start the magic. The Glowforge will automatically take a picture of anything that's in the Glowforge bed, and then the interface will show the picture so you know proper placement of your items. I'm going to select just medium maple hardwood because that's what it is. And then I'm going to arrange the artwork a little bit further. Let's click print. 
The Glowforge interface tells you exactly how many minutes and seconds it will take to run your print job. And then the Glowforge button starts glowing. Now, since the Glowforge is engraving and cutting material, it does tend to be quite loud. So my suggestion would be to invest in some high quality headphones. And I have a link to these headphones in the description down below too. And this is what the final product looks like. I believe it looks really, really pretty. Go Glowforge.